What is up guys, I'm back with a new EP review and today I want to talk about Drubex and his EP, Can I Be Honest? And prior to the release of this EP, he actually dropped two singles. The first one is called Reality Checks and the second one is called Shot. And both of these can also be found on the EP. So I'm not gonna lie, but right from the start, I fell in love with Reality Checks. So I was really looking forward to this EP to see what else he had in store. So let's get comfy because we're about to dive into my review of Drubex and his EP called can I be honest? If you was an accident, then he tells you to change your last name because you won't let him take advantage of you again. So the first track, Pray of a Sinner, was not exactly starting off with a good start. I don't know what it was, but the beat, it, it really felt like it lacked energy. It was like, it's, I don't know, it sounded off. And also in combination with the focus of Drewbex, I was also not feeling it. It was really sounding like it was lacking energy. Another thing that I didn't like is the fact that it felt like Drewbex was trying to outrun the beat. And because of this, he sounded kind of offbeat, especially on the outro of this track. He was really going super fast and I was like, what's going on? Because this is not sounding nice. It's not, it doesn't sound good. No. So on the next track, Don't Lose Your Faith, I did not really like the chant like vocals on the chorus because it also sounded like these were lacking energy. I really, f I, I was not feeling it. I was like, what's going on? If you're using chants, make them sound like chants because these things, they sounded so lifeless. I was like, what's going on? It doesn't make any sense. But I gotta say, I really like the mysterious and grimy beat that was created for this track. And another thing that I did not exactly like was the fact that it really sounded like the track was dragging on for way too long. It, was a, it is a four minute track, but I don't know, with the way things were going, it's, it felt like forever. Don't lose your faith, I know, don't lose your faith. Don't lose your faith, I know, don't lose your faith. Don't lose your faith, I know, don't lose your faith. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose so we now made it to the second half of the EP. This is also the part where the EP was starting to sound so much better. So first off, the track Reality Checks. The chorus was phenomenal. I absolutely love the chorus of Reality Checks. It really has this energy that the other tracks were missing. It is the type of chorus that I expect to hear from someone like Drewbacks. It's like the type of chorus, the type of song that, yeah, I don't know if you have listened to him before, but this, this is his style. This is definitely what I expected from him. And I think that he did a great job on this track overall as well. Because he both sound great when it comes to his bars and also those little background vocals. It was really nice. Hey, reality checks, show up in my mailbox every time that I check. Try to return to sender, but that's only stress. Cause life is always on the move, it don't have no address. And I don't even know what life be on. So on to the fourth and final track, Shot. I noticed that this one had a similar intro to the track Don't Lose Your Fate, but it was so much better executed on this one. And I'm sorry, but I'm once again gonna compare this track to the first two tracks, but this one had so much more energy. It, it just sounded so much better. Because with this track, you could also really feel the energy that was put into it from both the lyrics and the beat. It just worked out perfectly together. In conclusion, I felt a bit like let down by this EP. And if I can be honest, I really expected so much better from Drewbacks. I don't know what happened or what went wrong, but I don't know. There was not the EP that I was expecting to roll out the way it did. Because I do know that it has bars and some great flows, but the delivery on this one, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I was not feeling it. Not at all. Because for example, when we look to his 2019 album, Strange Days, Long Nights, it was a masterpiece. It was just a masterpiece. It was just great from start to finish. And now we get this four track EP and yeah, only half of it sounds good, I would say. So yeah, I was actually expecting the EP to sound something similar to that album. And that's also why I'm giving this EP a five. So yeah, I shared a lot of my opinions on this EP and now I would like to hear what you think of this EP. So feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think. Also feel free to drop any suggestions for an other album or EP that I should listen to, especially from an underground artist, because that's what I love. And other than that, I would like to say thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.